Holy crap, talk about the mother of all gaming leaks. This may very well be the worst leak in gaming history. I'm sure many of you have heard by now, Grand Theft Auto 6 has leaked via GTA forums. This user right here, Teapot Tuber Hacker, is a hacker who somehow managed to get a hold of 90 footage slash clips from GTA 6 alongside source code and assets, as well as a GTA 6 testing build and he put some of that stuff up for download via these links. It goes without saying that I'm not gonna show you any of the leaked footage in this video. It would get swiftly copyrighted, but you can find those yourself if you look them up. These leaks have spread like wildfires, so they're not that difficult to find. It's also worth mentioning that alongside the GTA 6 leaks, screenshots of the canceled Red Dead Redemption remastered or remake or whatever this was said to be also leaked alongside that. You can probably find those as well pretty easily online. So yeah, a lot, uh, a lot's leaked. And then he edited this post to say, okay, this has gone unexpectedly viral. What do you mean unexpected? If you had posted even one legitimate screenshot of GTA 6, that would have gone viral. This is far and above beyond that. We're talking about clips and footage of an in-progress build of GTA 6 that confirmed some of the leaks surrounding the game, like the fact that it would take place in Vice City. The fact that the protagonist consists of a male and female lead who have this Bonnie and Clyde kind of vibe. The footage showed developers testing gameplay mechanics, animations, you name it. This is about as viral as a leak could get. Teapot Tuber Hacker continues, woke up to 3,000 Telegram DMs. If you're an employee of Rockstar Take-Two and you're trying to contact me, send me a message containing these numbers on Telegram, or you can email me at teapottuberhacker at protonmail.com from your corporate email address. I will try to read all these replies soon. I'm looking to negotiate a deal. Does this hacker know who they're dealing with right now? We're talking about Take-Two and Rockstar, companies who will engage in lawsuits over frickin' mods and who will hire private investigators and send them to modders' homes. If these companies are willing to go that far over mods, Imagine how much legal hellfire they're going to rain down on this hacker over what may very well be the worst incident that Take-Two and Rockstar have ever faced, have ever had to deal with. Then again, the hacker has proven that they do, in fact, have GTA 5 and 6 source code and assets, as well as a GTA 6 testing build. That right there can be especially damaging. Source code is essentially the guts of a software, and people who reverse engineer source code are able to create all kinds of havoc. And so I'm curious as to how old this GTA 6 source code, the assets, and the testing build are, and whether Take-Two will deem these to be valuable enough to not have leaked out there that they will end up contacting this uh, hacker and negotiating or whether they're going to just go scorched earth. But yeah, this matter is no longer just about leaks. This has become full-on extortion. Clearly, this user is trying to shake down Take-Two and Rockstar. This hacker will likely seek restitution in exchange for the guarantee that they won't leak more damaging things like source code and assets and more information, more potential footage, maybe story details. Who knows what they have in their vault? As you can imagine, there are already plenty of headlines from major news outlets like Forbes here who posted this article GTA 6 suffers massive leak of 90 gameplay videos scrolling down we'll find additional details originated from GTA forums from a user named teapot tuber hacker who also claims to be behind the recent uber hack which I don't know if you guys have heard about but that's a whole other story he posted 90 videos that they say are from a test build of Grand Theft Auto 6 it confirms that the game takes place in the Miami-esque Vice City, and the male and female leads are confirmed as well. The woman is apparently named Lucia, and the man is named Jason. New Salad Eurogamer reported on this as well. 90-plus GTA 6 videos and screenshots have allegedly leaked online, and they certainly do look legit. They're as good as confirmed to be legit. The videos show rudimentary peek at the protagonist, the open world, and even the shooter's combat, totaling over seven minutes worth of unsanctioned footage. And then it is noted how Certain elements from Red Dead Redemption 2 are brought into this test build of GTA 6. The dialogue system and animations also look similar to those used in Red Dead Redemption 2, although those may only be temporary, of course. New Salad The Verge has also released their own article and detailed how the file that was released housing all of the leaks amounts to 3 gigabytes 
worth of videos. IGN has already reported on this with their own article. You get the idea. This story is going viral. It didn't take long before investigative reporter Jason Schreier contacted sources and confirmed with Rockstar sources that this weekend's massive Grand Theft Auto 6 leak is indeed real. The footage is early and unfinished, of course. This is one of the biggest leaks in video game history and a nightmare for Rockstar Games. And from there, in a response to his own tweet, he further detailed just how disruptive this will be for Rockstar as a company, but also for Rockstar developers and for the development pipeline of this game. To those who asked, there are several reasons this is a nightmare for Rockstar. One is that it'll disrupt work for a while. Another is that it may lead management to limit work from home flexibility. The repercussions of this leak might not be clear for quite a while. I'm already seeing people celebrating the GTA 6 leaks, and on one hand, yes, if we're talking about the corporate suits, I don't give a shit about them or how they're feeling right now. And, you know, I get the sentiment of sticking it to Take-Two and Rockstar for, you know, some of their shady corporate practices and all of that. But understand that amidst all of that, developers, artists who are passionate about their work, you know, people who have no say in the shady decisions that Take-Two and Rockstar make, they got caught in the crossfire. They're seeing all of these leaks happen, and they're devastated. Their life is going to be made much harder. They're going to have to take time away from just working on the game to deal with this situation, especially with source code leaking. That may very well force the development team to reprioritize certain things and to, I don't know, rework some code. Not only is this all going to have a hugely negative impact on morale within Rockstar Studios, but... Also, it's going to end up delaying the game by how much I don't know, but this is disruptive enough that, yeah, they're going to have to work on dealing with this and it's going to take time away from developing the game. And again, the leaks may very well mean that they're going to have to take additional development time to plug certain holes that this leak opens up. And not to mention the kind of feedback that developers are getting from an incomplete build of the game that people are already judging and, you know, noting how you know, awful it looks when, I mean, obviously the game's not going to look great in its incomplete state. I don't know how old the build is, but even if it is pretty current, the game's not expected to launch for like another two years. So looking at the footage right now, it's just not representative of the final game. And if the leaked footage turns out to be a few months or a few years old, then it's even less representative of the final product. But already people are judging a years from release build of a video game as if it were pretty close to final and uh, it's just causing a whole lot of negative sentiments and it's just this PR nightmare for Rockstar and the developers. Somebody else who chimed in was YouTuber Legacy Killa HD, who's done a lot of Rockstar related coverage and who has Rockstar sources of his own. He tweeted, I hope people realize this may very well be the beginning of this mess. The hacker has indicated he has a lot more he plans to leak. This is really bad for Rockstar and I have no idea what they do, especially if spoilers start getting posted. Hell, I mean, you can already see that people are digging through what code has already leaked right here. And this is especially detrimental. Now, if you still have doubts about the validity of these leaks, well, Take-Two has practically confirmed that these leaks are real by issuing DMCA takedowns of footage that's being posted on YouTube and across social media. And now there are plenty of people reporting on how the hacker and leaker has expressed uh, the intention of negotiating a deal with Take-Two and Rockstar. Once again, I'll say... Good luck with that one, bud. And then going back to Legacy Killa HD's coverage of this, he noted how he contacted some sources within Rockstar Games and got some feedback from them, and obviously they're very unhappy. I'm sure it's not needed, but I've spoken to a couple of sources at Rockstar Games this morning, and they are all gutted, devastated. Most are waiting till Monday to find out how leadership responds or what happens next, but indeed, this is the real deal. I haven't got a good grasp on the extent of the full damage, but I was told the game has changed quite a bit as GTA 6 only entered into full production in the last couple years. Still, though, most are just waiting to see what happens next. Total chaos. If Legacy Kill HD is to be believed here, it would seem as though it shouldn't be too surprising if we see the final game and it ends up looking quite different and likely quite a bit better than the footage that's out there, which if you look at right now, it's pretty rough looking. There's clearly a lot of, you know, like textures missing, animations missing. A lot of assets are just not in the game right now in this uh, early build, in this prototype build. But there are aspects about it that already looks impressive. You know, it says a lot when 
GTA 6's prototype looks better than, I mean, obviously, you know, like the new Saints Row that came out recently, or hell, even Ubisoft's own open world games in certain respects. But yeah, it's pretty rough footage because it's quite literally unfinished. We also got a lot of reactions from developers across social media who can sympathize with the feeling of dread that comes with seeing your game leak early and it be footage that isn't representative of the most recent build of the game or what the game will turn out to be at launch. Here's Pavel Sasko from CD Projekt Red who tweeted, Dread to think what the Rockstar team is going through right now. Years of work are now being shredded, torn apart, analyzed, misunderstood, taken out of context, and memed by the gaming community who have already shared some pretty harsh feedback surrounding this incomplete GTA 6 build. A destructive cycle games industry knows way too well, help to make it better, and don't engage with leaks, says Pavel. Moving on, here we have Mike Bithel, who tweeted, Leaks suck. Audience gains nothing. Devs lose their moment to shine on their own terms. Lots of important stories that the bad folks in the industry would rather you didn't read, shared by awesome journals. Click those instead. Next up, we have a tweet and reaction from Neil Druckmann, who knows firsthand what it's like to see his game experience a major leak. I'm, of course, referring to The Last of Us Part Two. Major story details that leaked major events like you know Joel's death and uh, just the shitstorm that that started when it comes to the discourse surrounding the game he tweeted to my fellow devs out there affected by the latest leak know that while it feels overwhelming right now it'll pass one day we'll be playing your game appreciating your craft and the leaks will be relegated to a footnote on a Wikipedia page keep pushing keep making art basically encouraging the developers at rocks or again the artists to not let this get them down too much. He's basically saying, speaking from personal experience, I can tell you right now that it seems hopeless and everything seems full of despair right now, but keep on keeping on, keep working on the game, make it as good as it can be. From someone who knows what this is like, he's saying, in the end, everything will turn out fine if you, you know, stay the course. Next up here is Josh Sawyer from Obsidian, who tweeted, Game leaks suck. Whether it's information or assets footage, it's all bad. Devs can't really address it in a productive way and it's incredibly demoralizing and disruptive for the team. Pertinent misinformation leaked and we're still undoing that damage and that leak was tiny. Yeah, I can't think of another gaming leak that compares to this GTA 6 one. The one that comes closest is The Last of Us Part 2, whose leaks weren't just, you know, some screenshots and a bit of gameplay. So many key story details that shaped the perception surrounding this game before launch made their way out. But with GTA 6, it's even worse because it's not only substantial footage of an early build that people are already judging, but we're also talking about, again, source code. Things that have made public will allow nefarious actors to do some pretty substantial damage. Josh Sawyer concluded with, don't seek out leaked footage, don't support people making content about it. Even if you're hungry for info, you're almost certainly getting a very warped and inaccurate view with a ton of uninformed speculation on top. Next up, we have Alana Pierce, who is a developer working at Santa Monica Studio on God of War Ragnarok. She tweeted, leaks are awful for everybody, including excited fans who are often looking at an unfinished product and creating totally false expectations based upon that. Everyone loses. It just sucks. The cycle of shows the game already and then Ew, it looks awful also just repeatedly kills off any hope I have of a future where game developers can be much more candid with audiences about how games are made. Next up, we got pundits who call out and criticize some folks who have been calling GTA 6 terrible looking just based off of this still prototype build of the game. Tom Henderson, for example, tweeted, the amount of people saying that GTA 6 looks terrible is actually frightening. You're looking at a game build that's over a year old and won't be released for another, what, two years? Scrolling down, he calls out people saying things like, they deserve this for not giving us anything all this time for taking so long to make GTA 6. Tom Henderson tweeted, how self-entitled can you be really? The reality is they owe you nothing and you're not playing it until 2024 to 2025 anyway. If the source code dev build leaks, it'll probably be longer than that. And then the only silver lining here is that if you have a tiny amount of common sense, you'll know that the footage leaked will be technically three to four years old when the game launches. Developers echoed similar sentiments about people who are saying that the game looks bad. It's hard to believe, but shit that isn't finished in games looks like shit. Incredible conclusions reached by the worst part of the gaming audience again. Thanks for once more ensuring devs have to stick to weird, secretive marketing campaigns instead of being more open about development. To further drive this point forward, a number of 
social media users decided to show some comparisons between other games older builds versus the final game so right here for example we have the alpha version of marvel spider-man versus what it looks like in the final game i mean obviously a world of difference next up we got uh, meryl 001 here who tweeted for the people who keep saying that gta 6 early builds graphics are ugly just a reminder that this is the red dead redemption 2 early build on the left and some comparison screenshots here that show graphics fidelity and uh, richness of environment that is far more diminished in the early builds than it is in the final game. Finally, we have Rockstar Universe here who tweeted, for those stating how poor the leaks look, take a look at these pictures. This is GTA 5 alpha footage. This isn't even pre-alpha, meaning the GTA 6 footage you've seen is development before this stage. Assets get reused, shading and lighting is disabled, etc its game development. Just plenty of people trying to point out the obvious fact that a build of a game that's years out from launch will just look bad. That's how it tends to work in game development. People don't realize how much stuff comes together sort of in the final few months and in the final few weeks even. But for now, yeah, these leaks are pretty damn severe and uh, there's just gonna be a whole lot of damage control that's gonna have to be done on the part of the development team, on the, on the part of the corporation. So this is definitely gonna impact development. It's gonna disrupt it enough. If there was some kind of you know internal timeline for when this game might come out, that date has likely been pushed back by how much, I don't know, but you know a decent amount at the very least. This is a situation that I don't celebrate because it really does nothing but harm the development cycle of this game. It just makes uh, developers' lives harder, you know, in an environment where developers' lives are already pretty damn hard with uh, what's demanded of them from corporate and from the suits. And um, it's just going to create all kinds of, you know, misunderstandings and misconceptions based on footage that uh, is old enough that I wouldn't take any stock on it personally. It does reveal certain information. It does confirm certain leaks about the setting and the protagonist and all these things. And we do get glimpses of the kind of gameplay that they're going for, obviously. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to wait until uh, something more official is revealed before making any kind of judgment or deliberation. I'm very curious to see how Rockstar and Take-Two will respond to all this. Will they provide any kind of statement? Will they release uh, some kind of video to just kind of get ahead of all of this to a degree, you know, show uh, an early teaser or show some behind the scenes stuff? Will all this force them to start GTA 6's marketing early? Or are they just going to stay silent throughout all of this and deal with these matters behind the scenes? Are they going to try to contact the hacker or are they going to go scorched earth and just burn his ass down with uh, a legal hellfire? It's uh, it's going to be interesting to see how all this develops. In the meantime, though, I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are on the GTA 6 leaks. Have you seen the footage? What do you think about what you've seen so far in this very early build of the game? How do you think the leaks will impact Rockstar Take Two and GTA 6's development as a whole. What are what are your general feelings on this whole situation? Share your thoughts below, and to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Young out.